would you smile just a little bit, please? That look on your face could make the champagne go flat. If you think I'm going to forgive you for what you did... What I do? Folks, I ask you, what did I do? What did I do to this? Stop it. This is between you and me. Okay. What did I do? Except admit, get you to admit what we both know is really in your heart. You want to be near me. Will you stop saying that? Even if it's true? Ooh, okay, okay. Cross my heart. It'll never leave this room. I'm going to dump that bottle of champagne on your head. I got a better idea. Why don't we take it upstairs and finish it up in my suite? You want me to reward you for publicly humiliating me? Actually, I thought I was rewarding you for a rare moment of honesty. You have no idea how many beautiful women I don't invite up to my room. On second thought, I'm leaving town. On third thought, I'm not going to let you. Unlike you, I am able to admit my true feelings, Megan Gordon, and now that I know yours, I wouldn't let you leave if I had to tie you to the set of Fraternity Row. Oh, yes? Mm-hmm. Would serve you right if I left you here with your Cheshire cat grin, made you pine away from me in California. I would wither on the vine. There, I admit it. Now, come on, Megan. You gotta admit, there's gonna be something about me you'd miss. I don't know. Maybe we should go up to your room. You could give me something to miss. I thought you would never ask. Maybe we can pick up where we left off this morning. Mm -hmm. Hello, Max. Megan. Oh, and I thought lightning couldn't strike twice. We were just on our way out. Good night, Gabrielle. Well, don't let me stop you. I'm just on my way to my showroom. My ex-showroom. Don't work too hard. Wait, wait a minute. What do you mean, ex-showroom? Well, ever since the stop order has been issued against my designs, I can't afford to pay for it, so therefore I can't use it. You're closing? What will the fashion world do without you, Gabrielle? Megan. I'm not here to cause a scene, despite her wishes. Besides, I would think you'd be thrilled to see me leave your hotel. As a guest. Ladies, please. It is late. I'm sure none of us want any more confrontations. And you, there's no reason you have to move out tonight. Oh, don't worry. I can't wait to move out. The less I see of your face and yours, the better off I'll be. Excuse me, I have to go and pack. Sure. <laughs> Gabrielle! Oh, and did I say I was an actress? Megan, cut it! Oh, gee, she's burning up. She's on a lawsuit at six. Here, here, let me help. No, we got her. Yeah, I'm not breakable. Right, well, that might be, but you're still weak. Well, I'm not that... Robin's $125 million lawsuit at six. Here, here, let me help. No, we got her. Yeah, I'm not breakable. Right, well, that might be, but you're still weak. Well, I'm not that weak, and I'm tired of being in bed, and I'm tired of being sick, and I'm really tired of this virus. Yeah, but I wish there was something I could do to make up for all you've been going through. Max, I don't think she meant to blame you. No, it's just a twist of fate that I got the disease from the hotel, and, and now I seem to be the only one who's come down with a relapse. Well, if there's anything you need or you want, you let me know, I'll get it for you. Don't worry, Max. I won't hesitate to ask. I really don't understand how this could happen again. It was only last week that I had a checkup with Larry and he said I was cured. I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me either. Uh, the ho hotel was completely cleared by the Board of Health. No one else has reported any symptoms. Well, the only thing I can think of is that this virus is so deeply embedded inside of me, I'm just going to have to get used to the no. fact that I'll never get rid of it. Don't you even start thinking that way, all right? Well, it's true. I may be fine for some time, and then out of nowhere, it'll just come up again. Gabrielle, you're getting upset over nothing. Nothing. It's... A lifetime of, of uncertain health, a dubious career, and a son that needs a healthy mother to look after him, not to mention my social life. Oh, yeah, everyone's going to treat me like I have the plague. I do not believe that for one minute. Well, then they'll treat me with pity, which is even worse. I don't even want to think about my love life. What man is going to get involved with me if I'm... If I'm infected. Gabrielle, it's not the plague. Well, it might as well be because my whole life is worse. Hey, oh, hey, it's okay. It's. I know we haven't exactly gotten along lately, but I'll help you through this. No. You've got your own life to live. And I... I shouldn't be hanging around your neck. You don't need that. I have to start looking out for myself. And that means... means what? I'm sorry, Max. My life has been ruined by you and your hotel. 
I have no other choice but to sue you. It's a dangerous game, Gabrielle. Lucky for you, there's some of this left. Lucky for you, I didn't give you the virus for keeping me waiting. Oh, you feel better in no time, but can we say the same for Max Holden? I'm afraid not. Poor Max is about to fall on hard times. But you know the law of economics, don't you, Fraser? As his fortune falls, mine rises higher and higher. <laughs>